Today I'm going to be shopping on Walmart.com with a $500 budget to see if I can find the coolest Pokemon card products online. So hopefully today we won't get scammed on top of everything, but we're going to be opening up a ton of cool products, including ones that we've never opened before. So let's jump into it and see what a $500 budget gets us from Walmart's Pokemon card selection. All right, we're going to get started here. We have a box that's kind of like unmarked. Oh, okay. Hang on. Let's try that again. Uh, so we have a box here that's kind of like unmarked. It doesn't have like Walmart stuff on it. But let's crack it open and let's see some of the items in here that we purchased. All right, here we go. So we're going to take this open and we do have our bubble wrap there. Oh, there's one of our first items. Oh, that's a really good one. Okay. I'm going to grab that. Oh, there's two There's two things in here. And then I'm going to grab this second box, which is really cool. Okay, hold on. All right, let's start with this first box. This one's kind of crazy, and it was actually really expensive. I might have overpaid for it. I actually didn't even check what the market value is. We just bought it off of um, Walmart for, I think it was like $170. Uh, okay, the cheapest one listed on here is $160, but, you know, it's that doesn't mean that it's actually the market price. All right, but the cool thing about this is, as you guys can see, there are not one, but two Team Up packs which are like $50 each and those are like the most expensive I think Sun and Moon packs that you could find there's also some X and Y and some more Sun and Moon in there so let's just get this thing open we do get that exclusive promo card in here too which is pretty cool um but yeah I definitely don't think I've ever opened up this box before so let's uh let's get this open here surprisingly team up packs in here it's a very rare thing to find because team up was a short printed set from the sun and moon era and it's regarded as one of the most popular sets from that generation grab some of these cards out i also want to let you guys know that i'm giving away another pokemon pack to one subscriber all you gotta do is enter the giveaways number one smash the like button number two make sure you subscribe to the channel with notifications on and then number three leave a comment down below in the comment section and getting these out is the not the easiest thing from this generation. Oh, okay, that wasn't too bad, actually. So this is the exclusive promo card that you get in here. It's the Alolan Marowak GX SM187. We're going to grab that one. I can't wait to open up some Team Up. We haven't opened up Team Up on this channel in forever. It's actually crazy. Okay, here we go. We got two Team Up booster packs. Um, we have a Forbidden Light from uh, Sun and Moon. Then we also are going back to the X and Y era with a Breakthrough. And then we do have a code card here, all for about $170. We really gotta get some, we really need to get pulls from Team Up. Like, that is where we gotta get something good. All right, I think I'll go right to left here, starting off with the oldest Breakthrough. And we'll end it with Team Up. That's gonna be our first items out of here, though, on our $500 Walmart shopping spree. We're gonna go three from the back on this for the X and Y era. Let's see what we got here. Dedene. Reserve ticket. All right, reserve me a tag team full art card from Team Up, please. Uh, we got Rufflet, Remoraid, and a Halucha non hollow. We could literally just destroy, like, it could be really good if we get like, a really nice tag team card in there. Or we could just lose it all pretty much on these this box, which is very risky. Definitely would not recommend it. Unless you're just like, you know what, I'm going to open up these packs and I don't care. We got Pancham. We got Rotom as our rare. But now we have Team Up. All right, I'm excited for these. Two of these packs. These are crazy. Um, l Let's open them. And I'll show you guys on here. Sorry, it's hard to fit it on the screen. But yeah, market price is literally like $50 for these. That's crazy. I actually came down a little bit over... I mean, if we go to the one year... Oh, jeez. Okay. <laughs> what? One year ago, they were $22 a pack. They are just going like crazy. That's wild. Stocked up a little bit so we could have some stuff to open on the channel. But Team Up is definitely a tough one to open up in general now. Boxes are $2,000 a piece, and the pull rates are really, really bad. But if you could pull some of the biggest hitters in here, it gets crazy. Um, come on, let's go. Some of the best tag team cards ever are in this set. But it is, like, impossible to open up packs to actually try to get something. Charmander! <sighs> Man, that just went to zero, literally. But this is Walmart! I don't know what that means. <laughs> we, got, we got him from Walmart, uh, a third-party seller. It's definitely not not Walmart directly selling these. Like, they don't have these stocked. This is an older product. Um, but, all right, here we go. We got Fighting Energy. Come on, let's get one pull from this box and not just go to zero. Because that's what it's looking like right now. All right, last pull, please. Oh, my muck. Couldn't have gone any worse. <laughs> like, literally couldn't have gone any worse than that. It's okay, though, because we have another pretty awesome tin. This one was about $150. Really expensive but, dude, what is happening with Snorlax and Eevee on this artwork? Looks super cool. Um, inside of here, it's from the Sun and Moon era. There's four packs, a bunch of other stuff. And these are the different versions. I think there was a reprint version, so I'm not sure. We might end up not getting the best packs. 
Or we can get some really good ones with the possibility of team up, I believe. Got completely destroyed by buying this off of Walmart. The market price is about $87. You can pick one up for about $94 plus $10 shipping like right now. You can pick up one for like 100 bucks. We can only purchase stuff on Walmart, and I did not look at market prices. We just kind of just just winging it right now for what's just, just on Walmart. Nothing else. All right. Here we go. Let's see if we get lucky on this one and get some good packs in here. This was a really, really overpriced tin, uh, which was already being really expensive. Okay. Um, really cool tin, though. Really cool tin. All right, here we go. Oh, I remember these. These were in a lot of things. This one's metal. This is cool. This is back when they were just, like, real serious about these, and they weren't just, like, plastic. This thing's serious. This is... That's that's metal right there, okay? You don't mess with that. All right, um, we get we might have to melt that down to make some of our money back here because this is crazy. <laughs> we're gonna have to go, uh, we're gonna go scrap metal in. Okay, we do have the uh, code card there, and then this promo card is pretty sick. I mean, like look at that, SM one six nine right there. The EV Strux GX floor. Definitely an awesome promo card to get out of here. All right, let's hope that we have some good tag team sets in here. I don't know. I see a Crimson Invasion. I'm already scared. All right, that's not a good sign. Crimson Invasion. Oh, boy. Burning Shadows. Sun and Boom Face. Steam Siege. Is this real life? Is this actually what's supposed to be in here? Dude, I kind of want to check out a video to make sure this is, like, legit. Because now I'm, like, kind of confused. That's terrible. That's so bad! Oh, no. Okay. All right, all right. Shout out to Pokey Buyer. We're going to check out your... your we're not, we're not going to spoil anything. We just want to see the packs are in here. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. No, they are. Oh, Burning Shadows. Sun and Moon Face, dude. Absolutely destroyed. Absolutely obliterated on the pack selection in these probably the worst print run of these that you could ever get so be careful i don't know if there's a way to tell the difference but we literally got like the worst case scenario i feel like on the packs compared to what you could get in here oh we don't even got the shot to get some tag team crow gunk all right let's see if we can make up for it oh my god oh my god this is oh my god this is looking so bad this is looking oh my god we're getting obliterated right now I'm never going back to Walmart again. I'm going to Target or I'm going to No, you know what? I'm just going to I'm just going to go to CTR's workshop. That's it. Cloister. All right. <sighs> Crimson Invasion we might as well do. No way. That's wild. So we paid uh we paid like double and then we got the worst print run of these. All right. And we are just getting destroyed here. All right. Shellos. Oh, Gyarados GX. All right. We got a couple got a couple bucks here. Gyarados GX on that one from the Crimson. Oh my god, this is so bad! Alright, Burning Shadows! We gotta go for the Rainbow Charizard or we've lost it all yet again. <laughs> we lost this thing before we even started at this point. But it's okay, there's more products that are hopefully better. And hopefully this pack can help us out. But it's also... Yeah, wishful... Wish, wishful baton, wishful thinking honestly on that. Because this is such a tough set to get anything from. We got a regular Raichu Hollow. I am so, oh my gosh. Man, I, I don't know what we just did right there, but that's bad. Wow. Uh, best, the most value we got out of that, the best, coolest thing was this, uh, this and the promo card. <laughs> All right, so we have a, an actual Walmart box here. It's in a smaller box. Let's check this one out. Uh, I mean, we blew through a lot of the budget there, but we still got a decent amount left here. Let's see what we get in this box. Come on. All right. We got the bubbles. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Here we go. Nice. We do have ourselves here a Flareon tin. I think this one was about thirty dollars. Should be about market price, I would guess, unless, unless it's not. But I, I, I should probably check, right? Yeah, I should probably check. Nope. Still can't win. This is uh, about twenty-three dollars market value. <laughs> I am not doing this on Walmart.com again. I'll tell you that. Uh, well, you know, what? a lot of it, too, is that there's not as many sellers on there. So, like, you know, the more sellers have the product, the lower the price is going to go because they're going to be battling it out to get that buy box. If you're going on a website where there's, like, a couple sellers or even one seller, you really want to double-check the price. Otherwise, you could pay, like, a lot more than what it, you could get it somewhere else. Uh, but we were just doing this video just specifically Walmart and, uh, yeah.
All right, let's see if we get something cool. We got the Flareon V promo card to start off here. All right, all right so what are the packs going to be? Let's let's see. Maybe we get an Evolving Skies. Oh, we do. This is actually crushed, too. I don't know what is going on with that. Hopefully, everything's okay. Code card. Um, yeah, I don't think anything was tampered with. I think that was still sealed normally, but we will find out when we open the packs. Pretty decent lineup, though. Battle Styles, Chilling Rain, Sword Shield Base, and Evolving Skies in there. All right, we at least got... Some cool stuff, so let's see what we get out of these. Hopefully, we could get our first pull here, and we're not just gonna watch a whole video of me just getting absolutely destroyed and everything. Double, we got Grookey, Krabby, Rookadi, Wooloo, or Orbito. Ah, <sighs> yeah, battle styles. Okay, we can still get that sleeping Tyranitar out of one pack if we're. Let's see if we can get that Blaziken out of one single booster pack. Let's get going for that Moonbrion out of just one pack of Evolving Skies. Let's see if we can make it happen on onto the next item. Another unmarked box here, so let's just open this up. Let's see what we got going on inside of this one. Um, I don't really know what all the items are going to be, so it should be pretty exciting. Okay, it looks like... Oh, we do have another tin. We're finally probably going to get pulls. This is a Crown Zenith tin. And I believe we spent $30 on this one. I'm going to check the market price. Not bad. About $26 or so right there. $27. We're pretty much spot on with that one. So since this is a more modern product, there's probably a lot more sellers with it on Walmart's website, which is going to drop the price down because they're competing for that sale. And uh, they got some for pretty much market. Let's go. Okay, we got the Moltres promo card. Code card going out. I think we still have about $100 left in the budget or so. Maybe a little bit more, a little bit less. Uh, but here we go. This one's a loose. Oh, these are all kind of loose. But we have five Crown Zenith packs. There's like a 99% chance that we're going to get at least one. Like there, there has to be. We have to be in another universe at this point if we don't get at least one pull from Crown Zenith. Like that would be pure the worst luck of all time. Like we wouldn't have. The worst luck of all time. There's no way. There's no way. Scyther. Oh, oh, there it is, baby. Out of this tin on the first bag. One of the coolest cards. Oh, my God. And the double banger right there. Wow. This is actually a huge pull to get from this set. I think Crown Zenith was one of the best Sword and Shield sets ever made. That's a top five for me. Um, all right. Let's, uh, let's, let's see what we got here. Let's see what we got here on this next pack. Can we get another pull? It's Crown Zenith, baby. Pulls all day with the Radiant Charizard. We're back. We are back, ladies and gentlemen. Nice. Do not have to worry anymore. We're bringing in the goods because Crown Zenith is here to save the day. We're going to go four from the back on this one. We already got two amazing packs so far. Let's see how we do on our third pack in. Making up for all the... Oh, Mill Tank there. Nice. Still crushing it. A really, really amazing uh, set list with tons of amazing artworks with a really good pull rate. I think this is way up there, you know, with the Evolving Skies, with uh, the top tier sets from Sword and Shield. I think this one is up there, 100%. Even the coolest gold cards I've ever seen. We're gonna get rid of that. Oh my gold card, you have to be kidding me. We just smoking into existence, baby! Let's drink and go! Dude, we're making up for everything right now. This is like one of the best, this might be the best pull in the entire set. The Arceus Gold, dude. Are you kidding me right now? And just like that, that's Crown Zenith. That's how easy it is sometimes. We got a $50 card. That's the second most expensive, um, at least in the uh, the gallery part of this set, which, yeah, is most of the set. Easy work today on the Crown Zenith tin. Absolutely just amazing. Just like near mint card wise, we definitely at least doubled up on that tin. Uh, but we did really bad on the other stuff. But that's okay, we got more. Are we saving the best for last year? This is the biggest box. Let's see what we got ourselves in this massive box. It's actually two boxes put it together into one. That's how that's how big this is here. Alright, what do we got left? About ninety dollars in the budget. It's gonna be it's gonna come down to this thing. We have oh oh my I haven't seen one of these in years. No way. Dude, these still exist? And that, yeah, that's all that's in there. We got the big Chaka Chew box again. That's crazy. The last time I opened one of these, I had the craziest pulls. So let's just rip this thing open. 
I haven't seen one of these in forever. This was $90. <sighs> I'm not even going to say about the market price. Well, you know, we'll check the market price on it. Um, let me get this open, though. So we have two Pikachu promo cards. Uh, the VMAX and the V. Defeated again. The market price on this, $64, like $65. And, uh, yeah, there's probably just not enough of these out there on the Walmart marketplace to be competitive enough for that. And I, I spent, like, $90. All right. But we do have the Pikachu right here, this figure, which is uh, a really cool part of this thing. It's Pikachu VMAX. It's actually got a lot of weight to it. Like, it's solid. It, it's It's... Very unique. It also came with this plastic around it a little bit, but then you get a lot of packs. Um, let's see if I can get my luck back. We got Chilling Rain, Vivid Voltage, Darkness Ablaze. First time I opened this up, I was just like, just pulling madness, I believe. Um, then we got this over here, which I think is going to be where all our celebrations packs are. So we got four. There's more, though. There's more. There's like layers to this thing. And then there's another four. So we have eight celebrations packs. All right, this is going to be cool. Uh, let's start with the bigger packs and then move into the celebrations packs here. And let's see how we do on um, our pulls. Celebrations, also another set, honestly, that's got a really good pull rate. Only four cards, I believe, in a pack. Ooh, V card, full art. All right, I guess we're running it back with this luck. Last time I opened one of these boxes, just crushed it. Let's see if we can do it again. All right. One, two, three, four. I didn't know I just opened there. Well, let's see. We'll find out. Kakuna. Shuppet. We got Voltor, Brock Ruff, Beldum. Oh, or Beetle V. All right. Let's go. That must be vivid. Moving on, we have some Darkness Ablaze. Oh, no. I just ruined it. But Darkness Ablaze is the one set where I, a lot of times, will get a green code card and I actually get a pull. There's something with Darkness with that where they messed up and did that a lot more often. Get out of here. Oh, no, not that one. That mime is haunting me today. All right, so we have eight Celebrations booster packs, though. Let's see. Oh, weirdly not opening. Okay. Um, but let's see what we could do on these. You could get a lot of cool stuff. Is there any squad on Rocket Zapdos going to be a pull from the Classic Collection and a Zashian V? Now, there are some cards from the Classic Collection that are easier to pull than others. It was pretty much been confirmed, not by Pokemon, but by people opening packs, thousands and thousands of packs, and just getting the data on them. It was like pretty pretty significant differences in the pulls. And you can even tell from opening them up. Pikachu, the classic one. This one's very easy to pull, but it's very, very cool. But yeah, I think people basically confirmed that there are definitely classic collection cards that are tougher to pull than other ones. Um, and Pokemon kind of made that happen without saying anything. Uh, nothing on this one. These are all basic hollows in the set. That's the MJ holding special when they tell you that you get a... Well, that's actually the best case scenario is if you get a... If you're getting a hollow... Or not even a hollow, it's a shiny or sparkly card, or whatever you want to call it, a foil. Uh, you get one of these because you get them in like every every pack, you get a ton of them. But they might be going up in value by now because celebrations kind of getting old and packs are getting kind of expensive. Uh, I don't even know how much celebration packs go for now. These are all basic besides that Pikachu, and they're getting hard to find because you know you can only get them from the special products. And yeah, all right, let's get it. Give me a Charizard. Ooh, Garchomp level X. That's what I'm talking about. Nice. We are pulling in the goods. We got two more packs remaining, and then we are gonna be at the end of our Walmart $500 shopping spree, uh, trying to find the coolest stuff. Let me know how you guys thought we did here. Obviously, spent way too much <laughs> considering market prices. So that's pretty bad. Pull rates not too good on the first couple items there but we got a bunch of pulls from the crown zenith tin and this celebrations box imposter professor oak and his Zashian v is gonna end it all right guys that is gonna do it thank you so much for watching the video if you enjoyed it make sure to smash the like button on your way out leave much more content click on one of the two videos that's out there hit that subscribe button as well and as always i hope you have a great day and i will see you on the next one